drive looking at another one here just a little slow and you know they, they were talking about a fast start but that hasn't been the case yeah and let's face it any team we cover always talks about a that's fast true. start that's true but it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so and whether it's the script whether it's you know just what they're going through whether they're seeing different defenses they're gonna have to figure it out as this game moves on here's brian anger now on for his second punt he'd take a repeat of his first He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They go play action here on first down. He finds Ajayi. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. This is Ajayi. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Set. Green. Ah. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. carry now for Jordan Howard and he takes this up right near the 45 yard line in on the stop Bradley McDougal two straight four yard runs and it is steadily working the ball downfield to me they're staying right on schedule first down you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive they're getting exactly that and the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down And before they can get settled in here, time expires on the first quarter of action. Nothing, nothing, our score. And we'll be back to South Florida after this. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Dolphins in possession of the football. They're up against a third and two to start things out. here with Rosen. And Amendola with a catch. 
And they're able to get this one down to the 25. A big 30-yard play on third. Usually hitting a deep post pattern, as we just saw there for a big gainer, that's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, you start to get those guys creeping up, wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a change-up in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the change-up, and on that play, it worked for big yardage. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 25-yard line. They run with a giant. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. From the gun on third down, it's Rosen. Got a man, it's Amendola. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Call it a gain of five. And that'll make this a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's the option going left on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. The Dolphins on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. To throw is Rosen. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills from six yards away. And the Dolphins are in for six. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Caleb Sturgis now for the point after. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins.
Sturgis out now to kick this one off. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. Kind of running there at your own risk against that 4-3 in that big line, aren't you? Yeah, and I don't really run it against a good 4-3 team that well because I've got to get those guys on the move a little bit. If you're a static running team, meaning you just want to run it in the middle, you may have some trouble against good defensive tackles. That's what we just saw in that play. No gain. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Second down, here's Brady. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A very solid gain of 27. On first and 10, here's Brady. Throw left side complete. It's Sims. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Keeping the toes inbounds. Give him nine there on the first down completion. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. 